Okay, so obviously with every net zero home, we have three different areas here. We have our mechanical systems, we have our building envelope, and lastly, we have our energy production. So when it comes to energy production, there's a few different methods you can go for, but here in Southern Alberta, we have an excellent solar resource. So our most probable energy production is a solar PV system here. So our bull bank net zero home here is 4,200 square feet of finished living space roughly. Our energy modeler uses that information along with our house design and puts it into an energy model. A hot 2000 report is what we get from that energy model. And in that hot 2000 report, we see exactly how much energy this home is gonna need on an annual basis. And with that number, we go to our solar provider and say, this is the amount of energy that we need to produce a net zero home here. And they design a system that will produce that or a bit more than that on our home. Our solar provider here uh, designed a system that is 15.5 kilowatts of solar. And that's comprised of 32 455 watt panels that makes up roughly our 70 gigajoules of energy on an annual basis. Luckily for us here, we have a long lot going east-west, which made it really great for us to face a large portion of this roof facing south uh, at about a 412 slope here, which is great for solar production. One question I get all the time is, will I get paid for my overproduction on these net zero homes? And the answer is absolutely. With our solar PV system here, we are going to be overproducing for eight months out of the year from March all the way to October. And what that means is on a monthly basis, we are going to be exporting more energy out to the grid than we are importing into our house. So during our overproduction months, we are receiving credits for our overproduction and we're getting paid for them quite well at 30 cents a kilowatt hour, which is three times the retail rate. But then when we are underproducing, that, was ha that happens from the months of November to February, we are underproducing. So we are pr producing less energy than we're using on a monthly basis. We switch back to the retail rate of roughly 10 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, one point to make here that is important is that not every energy provider is going to offer this up to you. So you have to check with your energy provider. Here we recommend people use ACE Energy. We've had a great experience with them and they offer this program as well. One thing that's very important to us here at Homes by Sorensen is building these energy efficient homes that are cost effective. And it's great to spend more money on our building envelope and our mechanical systems that help us experience superior comfort within these homes. But the solar aspect of this is what makes it cost effective. There's a quick rundown of our 15.5 kilowatt system here at our Bowbank Net Zero home. Uh, be sure to check out our cost analysis on our Net Zero home here. There's a lot of great information there about the uh, detailed numbers that go into exactly how much this home costs and how much these solar panels are gonna repay us here. So make sure you check that video out. There's gonna be a lot of great information in there for you. Uh, anyways, till next time, see you then.